we thought the brief for this competition was very interesting because um, it encapsulates many of the themes and challenges that um, we meet in the current demands for homes and distills them into a small and very functional space. The bathroom has to work effectively as well as being a place of sanctuary. So, and the, the brief restricted the size of the plan to six square metres and it meant that a very space efficient layout had to be created and one that is also flexible enough to provide for the needs of an ageing population. And we were partly inspired by um, Japanese bathroom designs. In Japan, bathing is an essential part of the national culture and can often be quite a social experience. And perhaps we in the UK are not quite ready for that. However, there are lots of elements that are worth considering, such as separating functions. For example, separating the shower from the bath means that people shower before they bathe. The bath water is cleaner and can be reused afterwards for watering plants and even for doing the laundry. And so the water is not wasted. The deeper, shorter bath is another potentially water-saving measure. The user can be immersed up to the shoulders, but in a seated rather than recumbent position. And Jacob's already um, talked about some of the techn technology that exists that um, enables one to operate various controls from your home, um, from your smartphone. But these could be developed further so that you can control the temperature of the bath and when it is being filled and emptied. A control panel near the bath could enable the user to call for help or a drink or listen to music or control lighting and even see who's at the door without getting out of the bath. Um, the shower is a wet room arrangement and showering can be done in a seated or standing position. The arrangement um, means that it works for all ages there would be very little need for special adaptations in later life. The wash basin is set within a lipped shelf so that it can be used for the, by those in a wheelchair as well as those standing. Water-saving WCs are already being developed and manufactured, but for ultimate water-saving, we have suggested that composting toilets could be adopted. This would reduce household water use significantly but due to the need of, to have a waste storage tank that has to be emptied, it is only really practical for ground floor bathrooms. For bathrooms on upper floors, there are water-saving WCs already available, and some include features such as integrated washing facilities, warm air drying, hands-free opening, and LED night lights. Um, as a practice, we're very interested in advances in manufacturing techniques. Efficient processes are an essential part of maintaining high quality and affordability. Off-site mass production techniques mean that costs can be kept down. Our idea for the form of the bathroom means that it can be modular in construction and also flexible. The design is divided into three zones of equal size. These can be configured in different ways to give different layouts, all in the six square meter parameter. The pocket door is a space saving feature. The sanitary ware and the walls could be of the same material, allowing organic shapes to be formed without gaps or joints. Aware of the great advances in 3D fibre reinforced concrete printing, we have proposed that this bathroom design would lend itself to 3D printing using factory-based computer-controlled 3D printers fitted to a gantry and robotic arm. The entire bathroom could be 3D printed so that all the various elements, including services, are integrated for connection on site. Recent developments mean that a variety of materials can now be 3D printed, including metals and glass, these would provide a totally recyclable bathroom. All the elements <coughs> could be ground up and reused again. 
Sustainability is an essential part of the design. The use of low energy features such as LED lighting, recycled and recyclable components and low water use all form a very important part of this approach. Our bathroom design includes LED lights recessed into the floor, guiding the user at night. The floor might be constructed of crystalline quality recycled glass with underfloor LEDs. We've, dis we've added recessed LEDs at ceiling level, giving a soft, calm light as well as task lighting over, for example, the wash basin. A far more low-tech feature is the use of common house plants as a means of improving air quality. Research has shown that bringing nature into buildings improves the occupant's sense of well-being. It also has been shown that many house plants are very effective at removing toxins from the environment, especially those in cleaning products and air fresheners. Many of the features described here already exist and are in use. Some are in rapid development, and so, rather than 20 or 30 years in the future, we might see some of these features in five to ten years in housing, student accommodation, hostels and hotels. 